Well, there was an election that, that happened last week, which, which was which happened in Congo. And um, us Congolese people as a whole, we wanted to get it, to be elected as president. But, the, but it, it went out, the results went out that Kabila, a person from Miranda, was elected president. And this is for the third time. So is he would, so since 10 years, we wanted, we wanted, we wanted our own Congolese person to run our own country. But, but lot, lot, last two weeks ago, Kabila was elected. And now, us Congolese people had enough. Now we want, we want our voices to be heard. We want everyone to know that we are not stupid as some people, some people think we are. We are people, we are human beings like you. We bleed like you, other human beings, and we want peace. That's what we want. But no, no, this, this things are not going in our favor. For, for, so now we are making a stand. And until, until we get to Shigedi as, as our president to run our country, we will not stop this. We will, we will not stop this at all. is killing people. It's killing, it's raping three months years for the babies, boys, girls. One year, our grandmothers, fathers, and so we need him. It's too much rape in our country. I mean, yeah. I mean, my cousin was last week. I heard she was a victim of this rape, and this, this, this is logically this. If anyone, if anyone heard about someone being raped in their family, they would be angry. They would want action, especially and that's what country. we want. Especially, especially in this country, this country, this country takes this, this type of things very seriously, and they, these people should feel sympathy for us. But they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. No one wants to hear. I mean, want, I mean, just just two hear. days ago. This is the first time this was put on BBC News. Not BBC News, Sky, no big, big news network didn't put this on the news until we had to make our voice heard that this is this is not right. People need to know that Congo are in a really bad situation, and we need help. We need help from David Cameron, from Obama, from Sarkozy, from the, the Chancellor of Germany. We need help from everyone, anyone who can give us help, because this cannot carry on. Many people are dying, and if you do not do not stop this. Congo will come into oblivion. They make, they make a, a iPhone, mobile phone, computer. Where it comes from? It comes from my country. My country is 75% of the, of the land that are very rich. So we have minerals, we have a lot of gold and diamonds, coal bags, we have a lot of things. That's why you see the, uh, these people in the Western, they don't want to help us. They, want, they, 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 they don't care. They want to put it, uh, anyone they want. It's not even clever. Yeah, can I say one thing? Yeah. Let, let, me t uh, let me talk to all you Congolese people. If you're really truly Congolese, you really love your country, you would not buy an iPhone, a Blackberry, or Sony Ericsson phone because these are all made, these, these are the materials that are made for these phones come from our country and our people are suffering and dying for it. So if you're really Congolese, if you really want to help our country, you will not buy these phones at all. People back home cannot go in the streets and demonstrate. We want the British government, who is using British taxpayers' money to support the government in the DRC, we want this government to understand that our community is not happy to see what is happening there. Kabila is a criminal. He has killed many, many people. He let our mothers, our sisters, our daughters being raped and he's taking no action. Our country is the poorest country in the world now and there is no security nowhere. Kabila has used the public money to, for his campaign. Kabila has used the violence for, during the campaign. Everybody knows that the choice of our people is Mr. Chisekedi, but Kabila is doing everything in his capacity to rig the, the election. We are here to say that this time we are not going to back off. We must, we must see Ms. Kabila going because he's destroying our country, he's destroying our people. Congo is a chance. For Africa. Congo should be the starting point for the development of uh, Central Africa. This is not happening because of poor leadership put in place by Mr. Kabila, because of
corruption and everything that is wrong for us. So, we want the backing of this country to let our, the choice of our people be heard. We want Ms. Kabila to go. He lost the, the, the all legitimacy. He must absolutely go. Thank you. It's a sad, sad situation everywhere in the world. Nobody who likes to be right. But this one happened to my country. I feel very sad. That's why we are here to protest. And the, the election, we want to be, this election has to be fair. Not fair. What to do? The West supports the government in place. We need, we need them, our freedom. We need to our values to be restored and our country. That's what I can say. Thank you. So what's happening in Congo is like, uh, uh, so we had a, an election and uh, the guy who came president who somebody just did fraud, a lot of fraud and he's like ruling the country with, uh, with killing people, just killing people and then kill, raping women and taking all the resources of the country and sending it over. So David Cameron, Sarkozy, the French president and the American are supporting him. So that's why we are here protesting to tell the guy to leave. We don't want him. So we have a new president that the people have elected. His name is Tshisekedi. So that's the new president. This is the new president. This nigga wants us to rule the country. Yes. Well, over 10 years, more than 8 million people died in Congo just because of these wars going on in Congo. Now, the people of Congo stand up for their own future and choose their own president. Well, but, the West still don't want to let the people of Congo be free, right? They're still supporting um, the president at the moment, which they shouldn't, right? So we're standing here just to let them know that we know what's going on and we will protest it, all right? Thanks. Yeah, so... Um, Actually, we came here so to show all the world that the Western is practicing the democracy for many years. So we starting the democracy in Congo, let's say a few years ago. But we saw that the Western don't respect a democracy in Africa. They are playing hypocrisy. So there's are so many uh, killing on no respect for democracy in uh, Congo. Which actually president what they call it uh, Kabila, but he be supporting by the Western. So that's why we saw surprise. Those people practice democracy and they do, they are lying that they're pretending or I don't know what to say, but they do hypocrisy on a democracy in Africa. But we are here to show them if they are really a democratic democratic people, they have to show all the world that. In Africa, we need to practice a democracy, a pure and a, 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 a right democracy one. They're there for the minerals, but we want a people's life. We want a peace and a life. We don't protest because of the mineral they are taking the gold, the diamond. We are protest because we want a democracy. So in democracy, they know it. What people vote is what people are gonna get. No impose us what we are not want. That's why we are here today.